Hey guys and welcome, this video is on the plugin Magic Signs, it adds a lot of new functions to signs. So we'll start off at the basics and work our way along. The first sign you can create is a clear sign, you just do bracket, clear, bracket, and this will clear inside your infantry, not your hotbar. So as you can see, inside my inventory, and then I right click and it's all gone. You can also add costs to all signs on the fourth line. So here's the example, clear, and it will cost one. So as I say, this works on every sign that I'm going to show you. So then you go on to the command signs next. It's bracket, command, bracket. And then the command you want on the next line, so slash spawn will obviously take you to spawn. Right click and you can see it works perfectly. Then once again, you can add a cost, so I'll just show you again for the example. Spawn, and at the bottom, just add a cost of 10. You right click, so you pay 10 to go to spawn. Then you can also add more than one command to a sign. So command slash spawn. Then you do two and signs, a space, and then the command. And you have to make sure you fill it out to the end. If it, if it's got space, you need to make sure you put the space in, because otherwise it won't do the second line. And percent p means player name. So as you can see, it's used my name. So it's hello player, and then it's teleported me to the spawn. Then you can also use ones that are activated by the server, so C command, which means console command. So this is a sign that console commands, and then you can do your command in there, so slash, say, say whatever you want, and then the same principle again, you do two and signs. So this one's going to say, hey player, and then two and signs, which means add another command but you need to make sure you add the slash, so slash eco give percent p for the player and then an amount, so that will give a player 10 and it will say hi so I'll right click on it and you can see it's added $10 to my account and it says hey with my name so the say hey and then eco give so eco gives to do with essentials so you obviously have to have that installed for it to work so then we'll go on to the next sign the next sign is a level sign this is to give players levels so you do level then the amount of levels you want to give a player so then you just right click and you can see my levels going up you can also add a cost for this once again you do level one and then a cost I haven't got that much money actually uh, Ten. So there we go, you can see I've paid 10 and got a level. So this works really well. Then we'll go on to the next sign, which is the speed sign. I really like this one actually. It just gives the player a speed buff. So the first line's the amount of time, and the second line is the speed. Or second and third, should I say. You can see when you right click on it, it gives you the speed boost. So I'll just do a couple of examples. So if you do speed, then the time, then the buff, it does recommend you don't go any higher than 10, but I have tried it on 100 and it doesn't seem to cause me any problems. So I'm not really sure what it seems to think it will do, but it seems to work fine for me. But obviously you could use this on lots of things on your server, maybe you've got a vast area of land to cross so you can work out how long you need and then specify it on the sign and use it like that. And you can also add a cost so the player has to pay to use it. So obviously this has just cost me $20 for however long, not very long, that sign. So that's the speed signs covered, so we'll go on to the next sign. The next sign is the permission sign, and you can add permission nodes for players to buy. So you do bracket, permission, bracket, and then on the next two lines you do the permission node. So for my example I'll do essential signs use. And then at the bottom you can obviously add a cost if you want, I won't on this time. So it says you've got some permissions, I obviously didn't have this permission. And then you can do permissions, same again, and add the cost. And this time it will charge you. I think this is a really useful thing to add, obviously if you install a plugin that you only want players to be able to buy. So for instance I've got a plugin called Jetpack that I want players to pay for. 
So this is a great way to implement it. I've already got this permission so it doesn't actually show you the cost and stuff but it does work. So that's that one covered. So next we'll go on to the teleport signs. So you place down your sign, you do bracket, teleport, bracket and then you do on the next line you do your coordinates which is X, Y, Z. So obviously you find your coordinates. I'll quickly type mine in. Once again, on the fourth line, you can add a cost for using these signs. So when I right click, you can see I get teleported to them coordinates. And just please note that I was facing towards the signs again. Because you can actually edit that as well, which way you face when you teleport. And you do this by doing teleport, X, Y, Z again. So do the same coordinates as last time. But then on the next line, you can actually do north, east, south, west. So if I do north, east one so it'll cost me one and I'll be facing northeast so you can see that I'm facing the wall this time so that's definitely another really useful sign to have so obviously we've gone over most of the signs now so I'll just go along and we'll have a quick recap and then we'll move on to prices so we'll just go back to the start all our signs are here just have a quick recap of them you got the clear signs obviously clears your inventory you got the command signs, so it activates a command. Server command signs activates the command as a server. So you got your eco give. Then you got the level signs, which players level goes up or down. You got the speed signs, which gives players a speed buff. Permission sign, which gives players an extra permission. And then the teleport sign, which we've just covered, which teleports a player to a certain location. So then we'll go on to doing the costs of signs. Obviously so far I've shown you the essential sort of eco ones that take it out of your balance. And that's just like this. So level 1 and then 10. So obviously we've already covered this but it will take 10 out of your balance. So we can actually move on and do level 1. And then you can actually charge levels for certain things as well. So if you do LVL colon and then however many levels you want it to cost so it'll actually cost me 10 levels to buy one level this time so as you can see it works really well I don't know why you do it for level but obviously you can do it for certain other signs to give you diamonds or things like that so I'll just do you a quick example of how to give a player diamonds so you do command sign slash give so this is the economy give one then percent %p for the player that activates the sign so that's going to give the player diamond make sure you put the d on the next line otherwise it won't work and then obviously space 1 just indicates how many to give so it's given me one diamond so then if I actually want to add a level cost for it I do command same one again so give the player diamond 1 and that will give the player one diamond every time they click the sign and then on the next line you just do level, colon, and then however many levels you want to trade for one diamond. So this will trade one level for one diamond. So this is very useful on a server as well. I think that will definitely be something I'll be implementing to be honest. Then level one, and then you can actually trade for items. So you do I, colon, the item name. So I want to trade diamond and then colon again and how many so this will trade one diamond for one level so this is another very useful one to get your levels back so obviously these are all the signs they're not actually looking that good they all work perfectly but none of them actually look that pretty so we can actually do something about that so you do slash ms edit this will bring you up auto mask or modify so I just find auto is easiest to be honest because then it figures out what sign you're looking at. Then you go up to a sign. So if I want to say change one of these for instance. This is level 1 and it costs 10. All you have to do is right click on it with the normal sign. Type in whatever you want. You can use colour codes using the and symbols. So so far I've put a dotted red line at the top. Level in a colour. Cost in a colour. And then I'll finish it off with a red line at the bottom again. And then when I press done it will just mask over the text so you can see when I right click this sign will actually do what it says. 
So it says you've paid 10 and you've gained one level. So we'll just do it to another sign. We'll go down a bit. So we can change, say, the command spawn sign. So same again. Right click. Just go down the line. I'll just do this one quickly. Try not to type as much. So spawn, $10. That's all I'm going to write on this one. And then OK. And then when you right click, you see that it does still activate the command. Still teleports you. And it just looks a bit nicer. Obviously, you can configure it far better than that. But So you get the idea from that example. So I'll just place a blank sign now. So this has no command associated with it. And then you just type the text in as you did before. And this will just edit the text on any sign. So you right click, hey, uh, sign edit, whatever you want to put on the text. So this is a great way just to edit signs as well with this plugin. So you type it in, edit the sign, and you can see that it's edited it. You can right click it and it does nothing because there's no command associated. There will be a download link in the description below. And as always guys, please remember to rate, subscribe and comment. Cheers.